sort through all those photos, they'll go on our website for our expedition. That's an interesting one. Is there something in the live data about um, uh, depth and pressure? So Cheyenne, yeah. I think before it... Depth and pressure. Um, even if you were planning on doing another move a little mm -hmm. further, sit, sit like uh, whatever, in the direction we've been heading, I think let's just get on the slope. Awesome. Just trying to maximize time on that. So, yeah, let All me right. pull something else Here up for you. Here comes the slope, yay. Do you, do you want me to stop and look at this or no? No, it's all good. Okay. There's some off to the right. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Good job, Sarah. Woohoo! Yeah, so I don't know. This shows more stuff, but um, ask me to. Yeah. Two hundred degrees. Okay. Hydraulics. Oh, thank you. Yeah, I think precious that's hydraulics. <laughs> Thanks for the practice. <laughs> Good job, Sarah. Woohoo! <laughs> <laughs> that was good. Oh. We could um, just hang we're out go in 200 this. Degrees. We could just hang out in the sandy basin. No. <laughs> Lots of practice. You, uh, <laughs> oh, yeah. Just sit here and meditate. <laughs> definitely an option. No, it's not. <laughs> no, it's not. Not an option. <laughs> it's, it's one thing off, off the table. No. <laughs> it's a thing. I know you want to manifest a, a worm coming out of the sediment, Sarah. Oh, I would love to see a little worm pile. Yeah. And by worm pile, I mean like the sediment it filters. Yeah. <laughs> that would be so cool. <laughs> I know what you're waiting for. An Alaskan bull worm. Oh, man. Oh. <laughs> I wonder what the Alaskan bullworm is like modeled after. I think mm. one of those worms you used to fish with. Mm. <laughs> Earthworms. <laughs> Probably. What's the line? Oh. <laughs> You're actually looking it up. Yeah, of I course keep I resetting am. it. I don't know what's the problem. <laughs> yep, two hundred. Oh yeah, it's big, it's scary, and it's pink. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I was looking for. <laughs> Gonna wrangle us up some worm stew. <laughs> So the other watch did this, but favorite SpongeBob characters? Y'all, there's a lot of SpongeBob talk on this watch, and I just <laughs> didn't watch SpongeBob I'm so as sorry. a kid. I, th I don't. I think you need to go back. I have either. no relationship to this show. I don't know any of the characters except for me. Sure, yeah. quick, SpongeBob. quick zoom. <laughs> Is it a rock? rock and a or crime? Fish. Sea star, maybe. Uh, a kind. Uh, Ooh, what's that beside it? <gasps> is that what I think it is beside urchin? it? Wait, wait, wait. What? Look at this. What do you think is inside it? Oh, no, that's not. I thought it was a sediment pile. Oh. I don't think... It, see on the still cam? Right here? Yeah. 
Um, I don't know what that is. Kind of looks like an urchin. I think the it is urchin, urchin is the bottom Ur right. Yeah, but I don't yeah. know what that is. That rock. Interesting. Okay. That reminds me of something okay, I found at the beach once. So it was literally this lump of pink organic matter. I don't know what it was, but it was hard. Mm. And it was almost like a coral, but it wasn't. At the beach? Yeah, it was at the beach. It was pink and hard. So I used to have pictures of it, but I looked it up, and somebody said it was something called sea snot. I had to look it up. But it's like oh. a collection of just kind of how like uh, hydrozoans are just a collection of other little animals. It's a colonial cells. organism. Yeah, mm. colonial. I think it the I think you're thinking about a colonial tunicate maybe. 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 Cuz invertebrates some invertebrates do produce a great amount of snot. Um, but if it was hard it was hard. Yeah, it was hard. That's was why I'm... Like oh, I didn't hear that bit. That's interesting. Yeah. It was soft, but it was hard. Oh. Like in a, a rubbery kind of way? Yeah, mm -hmm. it was in a rubbery kind of way. Okay. But also slimy. And it was pink. It was pink. Hmm. Man, I wish I had a picture to show you. But, <laughs> um, if okay. I find it, I'll send it to you all. Oh, good. Oh. Oh. What's that little black thing? I think it's fish. another one of those oh, little kumba fish. fish or something. Mm, that looks so fitted be this time for real though. Oh, oh, oh. Oh. What is it a is that pod of some kind? No, it's a fish. Oh. Are there two of them? Two of them. Two fish. Ah, uh, yes. That yeah, it does look m more of fitted actually. No top, no top fin. Oh, fitted, but for real this time. Yep. Cute. I think we're good. Yeah. And then okay. that one has fins. Oh. Oh. Ooh, what are you? Oh, is that a big shrimp? Looks like a gigantic shrimp. It's a big shrimp. shrimp. Oh. Wow. It's a shrimp the size Huge. of that fish. Yeah. <laughs> Zoom in. Ginormous shrimp. Oh wow! Mm -hmm. Look at those swimming legs. Oh wow! Oh. This fellow Wait. will go good with some butter. He's hey big. now. <laughs> oh my gosh! Oh so hey! Swimming you? like sideways. Yeah. He's confused. It's confused. <laughs> All right, we're good. Yeah. Thank, thank you. you. Pink. Oh, goodness. Oh, yeah. Looks like in a can the phyrid. Ooh. Oh, another fish. Yeah. It does look like that. Usually I don't dare try and tell <laughs> the small red shrimp I apart, just saw but the that does look pretty. I saw the, um, yeah. I'll type that in the chat for you, Luke B. As a tentative maybe ID. Yeah. Yeah, I feel pretty good about that, I think. I can see the rock wall in the distance. It's coming. It's coming. <laughs> it's 10 meters away. 20 meters away. Yeah, it's 20, 20 meters away. I feel pretty good about that ID. Oh, what's that? Big fish. The shadow makes it look bigger than this. <laughs> <laughs> I to say. Okay, water drinking break. Oh, I like that. 
but we're not drinking seawater. <laughs> that's one thing about being in the ocean. You get thirsty, but you can't drink the water that's around you. It's just a sick joke. Well, I mean, we can't reach the water that's around us on this boat. Well, we do actually drink the water. It gets filtered through the boat. Yeah, but it's just taking it straight from the uh, ocean. It's too salty. True. So I have a joke for you. Oh gosh. Why was the urchin always nervous? Um. It was always on pins and needles. Ah, oh, yes. <laughs> That's a good one. Man, I should have caught that one. <laughs> yeah, you were quick with that one. Yep, yeah, somebody uh, typed that in. That was a good one, thank you. <laughs> Be doing some like physical therapy stretches right now. <laughs> it's supposed to be like tilting my head as far as Double. I can go. Okay, showing off that you can uh, bend can side to move. side. <laughs> <laughs> um, another urchin here. Some or no? Uh, it's hard to. Yeah, yeah. Small one. I want to know what that is. All right, it looks like we're coming to the slope, such as it is. I don't know. I can no. hardly wait. <laughs> it's just a big yeah. sandy hit. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> you know what's something I'm surprised we have not found so far? Mm -hmm. Maybe not in this part of the ocean. Um, sand dollars. Oh. Mm. Is that something that I'm we'd find in the deep ocean, or is there that more shallow? There are like a couple deep sea looking or deep sea sand dollar looking things here i'll find the picture but uh nope not super often another urchin Ur we're an urchin Starfish? land over here um yeah let's, actually let's looks look quick yeah, yeah it looks kind of like a sea star looks yeah Criddle star yeah it looks kind of feather starry which is a good sign <laughs> Civilization. Okay, go ahead and zoom. Yep. Oh, yeah. Uh, uh, it's a brisinged oh, yeah, with presinged. its presinged. arms down. Um, yeah, so Daniel, like the closest Thanks. thing we see to that is these irregular urchins, and they're and they're like only on, 400 meters. They're a lot shallower. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I'd see them in the uh, outer banks, and water's pretty shallow out there, so they hide under the sediment pretty easily. They're fun to collect when you find a good place to find them. They are fun. Oh my god, I can see the rocks. Oh. <laughs> Hallelujah. All right, here we go. Here we go. <laughs> so hopeful. We made it. Shell City. <laughs> <laughs> so what's the, what have you got the ship doing here now? Yeah. Oh, we're still at two hundred. Yeah. Okay. But can how can you just stop your move? Yeah, we can. Yeah, just stop it because we're gonna we're gonna come in a bit. Let them swing in and see where they go, or else we're gonna blow by too much of this. I'm gonna come up a little bit as you're coming up. See what happens with the bit of layback that we have. 
Okay. Yeah, and we'll see what this looks like and if it's worth, you know, spending a little more time further up if there's anything interesting. The layers are really cool. Nice. Rock. <laughs> That's not the dive plan. Oh, really? No. Nope, this is old. We didn't print it because nobody looks at it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I look at the dive plan. Oh, yeah? I yeah. look at it. Yeah. But it's okay. Adam I and I, we're going to try this experiment. <laughs> Does anyone look at it? Will anyone notice? <laughs> <laughs> I'll pull it up. Well, it's helpful for a pre-dive checklist. Mm, also just, just like help. what the name of the uh, geos is and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. And also for us to help explain. Uh, okay, I don't see a lot of swing down here. here. Start coming in, but don't uh, make your move short. Like maybe 20 meters. So steep and still so barren. Yeah. <laughs> it's cool looking down in the triclops. Yeah. Or the, what are we calling this camera? Pilot cam. Pilot cam. That's steep. Mm hmm. Still cam, that's cool too. Yeah, looks really good. Yeah, I would just take that shot. I'd yeah. say I think they come out a bit blurry because we're moving, but really, worth still, a try. yeah. Oh yeah, oh, shutter speed is small. Yeah. Or uh, not fast, I suppose. Yeah. Yeah. That's hard. Mm-hmm. I've been trying though. I know. Pretty good current. Coming from uh, the what north. is this like the n the north? Yeah, maybe mark that loopy. I wonder if the ripples we were seeing too, somehow there's, you know, current dynamics. Yeah. The yeah, water right going there. down this, yeah, down the canyon and kind of but also along like the canyon walls, but it was yeah. oriented in a weird direction. Yeah. Oh, you have it up, never mind. Wait, is that the dive plan, Daniel? Yep. Okay, never mind. Cool. So before I go over that, uh, I got another joke for you. <laughs> what do starfish eat? Mm. Meteorites and asteroids. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh. <laughs> Figured asteroid would be more of what they eat, given that some of them are asteroids, <laughs> but in a different context. So for those of you just tuning in, welcome aboard the exploration vessel Nautilus. We are currently exploring an unnamed geo right outside the Pacific Rim Islands Marine National Monument. And we are exploring this unnamed geo for all sorts of uh, priorities. 
we are looking to explore the flank of this gear, which was mapped for the first time using multi beast sonar. The map revealed an interesting submarine canyon that cuts through the flank of the seamount all the way to the summit. We th have a s we think that it could be related to volcanic rifting, which means normal faulting causing a low point grabbing feature. Okay. All right, got that. Um, folks, I think, I don't know if you all heard that, but uh, Adam's coming on up. We're interested in collecting a rock sample around here if possible. Around about here. Okay. Can you come up a few meters on Atalanta? Coming up. Just because our tether is not, uh, yep. it's not weighted properly. Hi, Volcanic Adam. ash, so tough layers. No. Yeah. <laughs> Let's break it open. Um, particular shape that you're going after. All right. L from a layer. Okay. Looking for something maybe longer and narrower that looks like it came from a layer. I don't like one of those or that's big actually, not that big. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Feel free to tell us straight. Yeah. Michael, are you getting oriented somewhere in here? Oh, I missed your telestration if you didn't. Oh, want sorry, to. we didn't telestrate yet, just oh, okay. We'll telestrate once just once we're in an area where we can look. Okay. Getting prime rock optics over here. some more yeah yeah I'm just coming up easy so just keep yeah coming up oh whenever you're in a spot Michael where you think oh, we could sorry. look no we can go anywhere here oh okay yeah, yeah just get to a spot where you think we could sample and we'll pick something out you like those ones uh further to the right uh Adam or some yeah we we got to get set somewhere and then Adam will take a closer look What about these rocks? <laughs> <laughs> Anything there? Like that. Still cam HD. Oh. What do you think? Sit, yeah, yeah. I think I think Hanford's ready for us to telestrate. Yeah. Yeah, go ahead. Okay, we're looking more over there. Okay, got it. Big ol' rock. Big, Big rock. one. No bio to be found. No life <laughs> that we I know, can it's see. Pretty strange. No life. No love. <laughs> Just rocks. Just no, rocks. Like we were, we were, we went up this wall, Sorry, and then we had a little position ship positioning funniness. We were back down, and then we came back on the wall. We haven't seen like anything along. It's been steep and cool terrain, but nothing. We saw a giant shrimp. Giant shrimp, yeah, like not a single coral. One big shrimp. sideways swimming shrimp. It was very confused. <laughs> that one under the lasers? Yeah, I just gotta get that over that yeah, rock. Yep, okay. Savior. X marks the spot. Carriously placed stills camera. Yeah, we'll, we'll keep an eye on it over here, what it's looking at. Yeah, you like the attached ones. You're like, let's test the strength of this on. <laughs> yeah, right.
Oh. Yeah, and oh, a little oh, crusty. She's crumbly. Wow. She's crumbly. Wow, not what I was expecting. No. On a different one from like where we are to uh, <coughs> destruction. Uh, yeah, gotta wait for the uh -oh. dust to settle. Why is it that crumble? the rock we were going after right there? It's no. still no. Wait, I think. Yeah, it is. It this looks is like the rock we were going after. Well, no, no, it's a different no, one. It's Just not. Yeah. Oh wow, that totally crumbled. Look at that. Why did it crumble? Do you think? It's made of different stuff in there. <laughs> not what we're looking for. A quick zoom on, oh, on yeah. what we crushed. Go ahead. Hmm. Wow. I don't get it. I don't get it. Yeah. Oh. You can zoom out. Okay, zoom out. So that's altered sediment with a little crust around it. Yeah. Okay, looking right above. What, uh, does anything lead you to believe that that would be different? Yeah. How does stuff form that's so different in such close proximity to Okay, falling from above, maybe. Well, that looks cool. All right. Ooh, How do you feel about that big old rock? All right, we <laughs> like it. He likes it. Can't get <laughs> enough of it. Quotes from geologists. <laughs> Almost lost it. <laughs> I guess you could say, this rocks. It does. <laughs> okay, so, yeah. the Two options for where we can put that. You pick yours. <laughs> Nope, but that only fits in the two boxes. That was a big one. Big one. Where is it going? E. B. E. E. E for effort. <laughs> oh, is it smaller than I? It's smaller than yeah, I thought. Go with oh, B. oh wow. then let's do B. Wow, All it's right. way smaller let's than I thought. I thought that was more. huge. There we go. <laughs> Uh, 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 uh. Yeah, Ooh, nice clunk. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's in. Okay, all right, all right. We'll Geologist is even telling us to go find bio biology. <laughs> okay, thanks for the sample. Welcome. Were you ready to continue ship moves? No, definitely not. We're right into the cliff. No more ship moves. See how close Atalanta is there in the sun? Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh. Uh, no, we're just going up for a little while. Okay, dive. Okay. And uh, can you oh. fix the, make this the way it was? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> we need to get that on the salvo. And can I get the gauges back on yep. the corner? Thank you. All right, ready to go up. Okay. Thank you. Seems like up above us, there's also not Herc much Brow interesting. On your panel there. It's called Herc Brow for the gauges. I'm not sure if you have that on um, your Um Sarah, keep a really high delta here now, maybe 25 meters okay. right under you. As we come up, might it be possible to look also, pan around to the left and the right and see, yep. see what's okay. about? Yep. Yeah, no problem. Happy to do it anyways. Yeah, even okay, looking that's, in. Uh, too that's much. good, Sarah. That's good. Let you come up a little. Slots. Yeah. 
cool rocks, but looking in Atalanta, yeah, like nothing. And it's kind of incredible how much sediment is managing still to be trapped on these faces, yeah. mm -hmm. despite that how steep really it is. That little spot we were was the steepest. It's already like relieving. Yeah. It looks like it should continue to get steeper. Will it? Yeah. Oh yeah, it goes it, through another bit. Yeah, we have a little, maybe you have to push in closer again and then, and then it should be steep again. I think I see the base in Atalanta of the next little bit. Yeah. Yeah. Just waiting for something pink to pop up. <laughs> <laughs> Anything. The Alaskan bullworm. <laughs> <laughs> well, shark. <laughs> well, shark. It's like yeah. a little dead, dead something on the left corner there. Here it goes. Oh, yeah. Bye. Mm. Speaking of pink things, I finally found what I was talking about earlier. Oh. It's called sea pork, and it is a tuna kit. Sea pork? Oh. Yep. Huh. Sea pork. Okay, I'm going to look it up. Sea pork? Sea pork? Is it like sea oh, bacon? Oh, man, I'm just going to be thinking about pulled pork shark. sandwiches. <laughs> oh. oh. Well, luckily, when you get back to Hawaii, you can get a nice <laughs> plate lunch with lots of pulled meat. It's going to be very delicious. We did pretty good on here last night for... Yes. <laughs> burger night? Burger night. Well, we, I have, we have burger for you. They ran and out of today burgers. today is Sunday! <gasps> Yay! Yeah, they ran out of burgers Sunday, right Sunday. when I got oh, to Sunday no. means it's dinner, but it's okay. Pizza. Ice cream. Pizza? Is well, it pizza? Last week. Oh, that pizza and ice cream. Is I'd it? be into that. I want the pizza. <laughs> I'm Pizza. trying to manifest chocolate tacos. chip cookies. Oh my gosh. I know. I yeah, really I want chocolate like chip cookies. I gotta, yeah, I gotta ask Jose <laughs> what's up with that. Well, you, what yeah, we, we should. What do we have to do? You get two days in every one, right? <laughs> yeah, what right. do we gotta do it's to get a again. chip? <laughs> <laughs> right. Okay. Um, yeah. Just, just looking around and going up, I guess. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. All different sizes. Give us a 10 meter ship move for now. Okay. It is a cool. I'm trying to appreciate the rocks. I know. Ooh, look at that face. Only, oh. Uh, I think that's just a dead, yeah, it's just sediment. It almost looks like a sea star. I, I know. See what you're, I see what you're talking about. I know. <gasps> Wait. In uh, front of us? Nope. It's sediment. <laughs> <laughs> That sheer face. It's really yeah, cool. Yeah, actually, I know. just tell him to strike the move. I didn't think he <laughs> get a zoom Never on mind. That. <laughs> no, it's okay. We'll just be able to smash together on it. It'll be as good. Tell him to stay over there. No, hold. <laughs> I think a nice zoom on this will be good for science. I don't know. No. no. I mean, it doesn't hurt sometimes to check, like, are there teeny organisms we're uh, not seeing? But, like, I don't think so. Because even when I when I did a still cam oh, yeah. picture. The still cam we, usually sees that, yeah. When I did a still cam picture when we were taking that rock sample, there was literally nothing. <laughs> um, <laughs> so, yeah. But, cool. Oh, no, there was nothing to it. It was <laughs> literally like a meter <laughs> of really steep stuff. <laughs> Cool uh, igneous flows or something like that. <laughs> so a lot of this rock eventually gets worn down over time in, in something, uh, you know, like sand. But geologists can refer to it as volcanic classic sediments. And one of my research projects in college was to um, take core samples that my mentor took from uh, you know, off the coast of Japan of volcanic class of sediments, looking at how they compact at different gradients. And that kind of gives you an idea of how these different materials uh, make up the ocean floor and also provide a... Uh, okay, now we'll take the 10 meters. Kind of like a Got stable it. structure for the rock. Ah. So what did you learn from that? What was that? What did you learn from your research on that? Uh, mostly in the learning about the technology that we use to... Um, look at the compaction gradients. So uh, we took 
we, we took a lot of these cores, mm -hmm. we literally sliced them in half. They'll be like maybe Cute. two meters, two or three meters long. And we take scans of them up and down the length of the um, core. And what my job was was to take sections of those scans and uh, I had a workflow in this app called Strabble Tools. So we took this um, tool that's on there that looks at um, strain data, meaning that it'll look for very fine lines within the images that can give you an idea of like, okay, if these lines are far apart or close together, this is how much it's being squeezed together. And yeah, it was a, it was a lot yeah, of a busy like work. It seems like the like 23-ish is like, mm -hmm. okay. Yeah, I'd love to learn more about that. Yeah. I'm a, I'm a geology now. nerd too. <laughs> seems like 23 tends to be like a pretty I'm trying to learn. Solid. Trying to learn more. Especially when you're... Number. Yeah. yeah. When it starts jumping like that. Yeah, it needs more weight on that end. For sure. But we're really stretched out now, so this... Yeah. Should be okay. So makes me nervous. Yeah, those layered rocks earlier are probably the um, carbonate rocks, given that they are uh, packed in layers. Mm. That's kind of where I was looking at. Uh, oh wow, it's it really steep. I think again. I think it's some kind of some kind of sedimentary rock, but there are lots of guesses as to what it, it might be. Yeah. So many you can things. Can do another ten meter move uh, when they're almost done this, or whenever you want to order. It. Yeah, that's a, do you see the Atalanta sonar? That's really yeah. sure. Yeah. yeah. So that's good. I was just being a bit cautious stepping into it. Yeah. We had to wait for the ship for a minute. But no worries. That should be pretty neat. Hope so. Uh, in the meantime, maybe we can go back down a little bit. lot of rocks still but um, I guess it just means there's very low food availability yeah I don't know why you know? that would be though with the current yeah sometimes sometimes I mean we're kind of in this little canyony thing I, I don't have a, a good grasp right now from the current high pack view of like how that's connected to the shallower bits of the geo but Sometimes it's in the axis of the canyon that you see mm -hmm. the most bio. Um, so like not on the sides, but right. maybe the wall that that's at the canyon axis. But I don't know. I wonder. Right. Hmm. I look down in the pilot camera. It's pretty steep. Yeah, real steep. Wow. And something about the texture of this crust and the or the direction of the current. A lot of sediment still seems to hang on.
Ooh. Really? Oh. Okay, we're getting close. Oh, hey, shrimp. Another Poor one shrimp. of those same shrimps. Doing the electric slide. <laughs> <laughs> What's left of the ship moves? Oh, we we completed it. Uh, another ten. see something on the bottom left that's pretty straight. Yeah, oh, yeah. sticky type. Actually, I see a coral. Oh, yeah. Ooh. Oh, yeah. Where's the coral? Oh, yeah, in the Where's still the cam we see stuff on the left side of this bulge. Uh, good eyes. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> there's something there. And some oh, and look, stalks. Skeletons. Lots of dead stalks yeah, down here. Stalks. Oh, that's very promising for what's above. Yeah, they We're fell getting over there. the top. There's big... Oh, and it looks like a, yeah, so it looks like a sponge above and a coral. Can't tell what yet, though. But, yeah. I don't see the coral. Oh, we're on the edge of our tether, but it's it's, it's right oh, up there. It's still cam that it's, yeah. Like, yeah. up. Up to the left. Go ahead and zoom in. I think I'm still looking at a rock. Uh, no, no, up. you can't it's see the, it. It's, it's, on it's the like, ledge. you see the, the ledge. It's oh, on the other trying, side. Yeah. Also, this cool. This <laughs> so <rock> yeah. <laughs> yes. Sorry. Uh, I'm not using this cool. to the best oh. of its ability. What else can it do? <laughs> Is the lottery numbers? <laughs> yes. There's one thing there. And oh yeah. <laughs> there it is. Yeah. Hey. Life. Oh. There's something alive. <laughs> Life. It's alive. That's so chrysogorgid, I think. Go ahead and zoom. Yeah. And a sponge. Yeah. Let's try and figure out what sponge. Looks like a euplectelid. Uh, another uh, 10 meters on the ship. Yeah. Possible. Kind of hard to see, but kind of. Yeah, I don't know okay, where the. Hmm. Looks. Hmm. It's not. It's not Atlantisella. No. Kind of looks like an unstocked. Balasoma, but I don't know. Mm. This is a steep wall right here. Wow. Like, see this? Yep. Yeah, it does kind of look like that. You're right. Okay. Yeah, this I is a haven't very steep wall. seen one of those before. In um, your caving, did mm -hmm. you ever do super long caves? That's a good guess to put in. Yeah, so like wild caving and stuff. Yeah. yeah, definitely. So oh, the pot belly. It looks like the pot belly oh. ones. So, yeah, so. Those I have seen. In uh, the caves I went into, the we. I need to pull open the mm -hmm. local one that we have. I know Wait, about them from there? local cave. Um, oh, this. Like mappers. So They're not always what's like. What's the family? Uh, it's, it's Euplectelid. Oh. Mm -hmm. They're not always more widely known, so all the times you have to know somebody to go there. And this prevents people mm. from entering when. It's like a season not supposed to because that's hibernating. Oh, I already have this open. Or they're just trying to leave these areas as like untouched as they can. So yeah, we would uh, we'll go in in large groups sometimes, and it'll be quite the party in there. But you always gotta be respectful of the cave. That means not taking anything with you. That not bumping into other think. cave features. Um, trying your best not to just touch all of the um, spiral things inside a cave. The all the structures like stalagmites and stalactites because they take thousands of years to grow. Yeah, and are your oils in from the your hands can oh affect no. the, the flow of that water, right? Yep. Yeah. So, I always yeah, gotta respect shallow. the cave. Yeah. But that was always the fun part. Like, sometimes we would go yeah. far back in through a squeeze and we come on the other side and find this underground waterfall. I don't know, yours waterfall. was a pretty good guess, that unstocked Balasoma. Ooh. Is yeah. that just a weird sand channel? I'm like, oh, it looks like <laughs> I know. <laughs> oh, yeah, that does look like a really big stalk in the background. I don't think it is, though. Okay, yeah, hold it there. 
so yeah, it was, uh, caving is a very fun activity if you're not claustrophobic. Any if you are, I think it's still worth it because it helps you build on that fear. Hmm. Just always make sure you tell a friend where you're going and you have plenty of lights with you, backup batteries included. And a big part of uh, exploring caves is uh, with conservation as well. So often we have to clean all of our equipment when we get out of the cave because there is um, a disease called white nose syndrome that's wiping out bats oh, all yeah. across North yeah. America. So we have to do our part to prevent the spread of that by um, keeping our clothes nice and clean right after we get out of the cave. Yeah. Right. Want to get a zoom on that one? Yes, we do. Our first, um, well, not first, but Whatever this is, whatever kind of coral it is, it's the first one of that kind, <laughs> at least. Yep. There's a crinoid up above, too, I think. Oh, yeah. And it looks like some kind of associate, too. Oh, yeah. Bamboo or primnoid? Primnoid, what do we think from here? Mm, looks Putting in guesses. Noid, yep. Because of the polyps, I think. Okay, but we're go also ahead and Far. Um, um, <laughs> actually, bamboo. Yeah. Uh, I don't like. I can't quite see any lines yet. Oh no, I see lines. I th actually. Do you? I thought I did. There's oh, nothing it's on so here. hard to tell. I'm like, am I making those it's lines up? I know. I don't see any. Actually, it might be from no. But Based on the polyps, hold on. Ah, I'm using the wrong. Okay, that's good there. Yeah, All based right, on what? polyp structure, I want to say primnoid. I think primnoid do. I think it's primnoid. tough out here. Some people in the chat suspect that last sponge we saw was a uh, hyalonema instead of a bosoloma. It is not hyalonema. Nope. Let's see. Mm. Oh. oh, it's okay. The uh usually have a pretty distinctive shape. I can see where you think it's that, but they have that that like um, that central opening that's like really it has kind of like that elevated lip almost the around the the osculum. Yeah, I was because I was looking for like an, a central osculum. Yeah, it was a Didn't bit more diffuse it. than that. Yeah, yeah. that's pretty cool, huh? But thanks for just trying. Oh, and we'll we have some more. Chrysogorgia. Oh my god, look at this. Oh my god, so many. <laughs> Are those stolen ferns? Could we have a zoom on the... Oh, and another sponge. Could we have a zoom on like this stuff over here? Sure, yeah. Aren't the stolen ferns? No, it's not stolen ferns. Yeah, they're not low enough. But, uh... Wow. Interesting, okay. small, scraggly things. Mm -hmm. uh, do, 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 do. Go ahead and zoom. Weird chrysogorgid oh of some kind. Is that the, like, the pleurogorgia? Hold on, let's look. Um, could we take a sample of this? Do we have, uh, would it be possible to? Uh, I'm not sure. There's, a, there's okay. a bit of overhang there. I don't think. I think there's I don't also think the, the overhang. Is gonna be. 
on the overhang there's there was also more of this. Yeah, I don't know let's if that back, would be let's easier. just back up and take a better look at it. Yeah. And let's see. Uh, I think like up above there was also hanging off of it. Hmm. Yeah, it looks like. Yeah. Kind of looks like this. Um. Uh. Up I to you, know. Hannaford, yeah, if it's possible or not. The ones we were just looking at? Uh, like any of that type. There's like some that were hanging there. I don't know. If that yeah, one. I don't think we can get those. Okay, that's all right. Uh, we can keep an eye out then. Yeah. Oh, it looks like maybe a cup coral or something. Here, this, the Pleurogorgia militaris is what I think it was. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. But, okay, we're getting somewhere. Yeah, that sponge, we can maybe do a quick zoom on the on the dead sponge, see what that mm -hmm. might have been. Oh, and there's some other living sponges around the corner. Woohoo! Ah, and more of the Pleurogorgia militaris, I think. I know I keep saying this, but this is a really steep wall. I'm just looking at where <laughs> Atalanta is. Yeah, yeah. it is. And yeah. it's interesting that they're all, all the corals are now on this face. It's a little bit protected right. because of the, on the under right. the array. Mm -hmm. Oh, wow. That's a cool picture. Oh, and we also have... Go um, ahead and zoom in. Uh, what types are those? So this looks like it might have been like a Rigadrella sponge, something like that. Oh, look at the sponge next to it. Oh, yeah. There's a living one down to the right. So... Michael, if you see a spot on the wall that, it seems the wall is pretty covered in the squirrel. If you see a spot that looks approachable, um, would be interesting. Interested in taking a sample. Can we zoom yeah. on the lower sponge too? After yeah, this that, one has, that one looks really cool. Wow. Really pretty. Yeah. Um, That's one. great, thanks. Yeah. Um, okay, I gotta find Rigadrella. Okay, full wide. So something you could tell us about that dead sponge that, aside from its name, what makes it unique? Give me one it's second. really big. <laughs> <laughs> Almost Just looks kidding. like a horn. Yeah, yeah it does. Kind of, yeah. Where are you? Um, it's not one of you. I always forget what group <laughs> this is, what higher family this is in. I know. <coughs> I was trying to look forward to and I just completely forgot. Um... Yeah, it doesn't look like any of those other Chrysogorgids are around that would be accessible. Do we want to keep moving or? Um, Hannaford, is there anything, any other wall around here that you think you might be able to get at or this in front of us? I know it's hard with the still cam hanging and off. Yeah, I'm trying to get in here. Okay, great, thanks. Here, okay, you plug tell it. That's what it's under. Oh, wow, that was easier. A real room in there. Unexpected. Yeah, I think this guy is messed up in some way. I'll see if I can fix it. The downloaded one. I'm gonna carry on. Okay. Find you, but that's just okay. Too, sure. Too tricky. All good. We see there's a lot more coming up. Um. Maybe there. 
Yeah. Yeah, and there's another Hyla one of those sponges. It's like a Hyla That anima. sponge does look more Hyla Nema. Yeah, I like that spot. Okay, let's take a look at that. Maybe, maybe. Either way, it would be good to take a look at these sponges. Mm -hmm. And ooh, a heteropolypus coral yeah. up there. Yeah, coral up there. Five meters, so east, east-ish, or reciprocal of what you came in on. Is it a mushroom coral that's up there? Yeah, heteropolypus. Okay. Mm -hmm. I want a sea whip. Do you want to zoom on anything first? Um, um the sponge. Maybe the Highland Nemo. The sponge, yeah. Whatever that is would be cool to look at closer. So many of these. Chrysogorgids colonizing. Okay, go ahead. Could we come down on the exposure just a little bit to see the shape a bit more? Yeah, it does kind of have. It's so hard to tell from this oh, angle. But it's, yeah, it doesn't really like look... Like you can't see. It is one of those two, though. It does look a little hyalinema. looks more balosoma to me still, though, because <laughs> that lip is just not as pronounced. Oh. I don't know. I think it is, and we just can't see it from the side. Maybe. You can kind of see it fanning out a little. Let me see if I can pull up a Okay, side that's good. Side. Thank you. Um, oh, yeah. No, I see it. Actually, yep. That is definitely hyalinema. Uh, sorry, I don't actually, just an okay. from the Atlanta view, I don't like that either. Okay, it's, all right, a lot of we can here. keep okay. moving on until there's a spot where it yeah. seems opportune. Seems like most Did of those corals you're after are, are under the overhang. Yeah, it's kind of where it seems like where they like to be. Yeah. And with the sponges, I will never say that anything is definite. None of these are definite. Any, even stuff that we think yeah. looks exactly like the oh picture gosh, could be something so entirely hard. different. Ooh, getting rolly up here. Yeah. Ooh. Wow, 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 wow. That Lots really tilted. <laughs> yeah. Oh. That cool dead forayed. Yeah. Aspidoscopulia up there. Yeah, do you want any zooms in there? Um, yeah, can we see if the, if those are some cup corals maybe, like up above the forayed? Yeah, that's what I, I thought I saw a cup coral earlier. That could be fun. Come up a few meters on Atalanta. Coming up. Slow down, slow down. Okay, go ahead and zoom. Those look not living. But were cup corals? Mm, yeah. Uh, yeah, and then some stoloniferans maybe running along the rock. Perhaps. That's good, thank you. Okay, full wide. Maybe. But we're getting stuff. Woohoo! Yeah, for sure. This is interesting. Oh, and there's another uh, uh, bu 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 primnoid up on top of that rock on the left. Mm. I don't know if it's possible to take a look at that still. Yeah. 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 And then maybe next to that sp sponge up there. Sure. There's just so much now. I want to look at our wow. thing. Kind of looks like an urchin, actually. The uh, really? Yeah, it kind of looks like there's protrusions coming from it from the still cam. I think it's oh. a sponge, though. No, that's definitely a sponge. <laughs> sponge Sorry. Protru protrusions. Wow. 
and some encrusting sponge. Fun. Zoom. Uh, everything's an overhang here. Yeah, yeah. I, I know. It does seem like a tough spot to pilot. Yeah, some kind of primnoid, I don't know, Norella maybe. Yeah, okay, that's all right. Good. Thank you. All right, full wide. And then see what that sponge up to the right was. Was that one right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yep. And we got a question. Just about uh, under the overhang, you know. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> perhaps. No problem. <laughs> we got a question about perhaps Not an really. eDNA sample. Maybe a what sample? eDNA Niskin. Ah, sure that. yeah. That actually yeah, would no be a, a good idea. Thank you for the reminder. <laughs> Thanks, Amber. And this looks like Chrysogorgia geniculata mm -hmm. bottle brush. Very protrusion y sponge. Yeah, it's hard to say if it's sticking out a lot. It kind of looks like it has that sort of sedimented side thing that is typical ahead, of Rosellids. Um, oh, wow. wow. That's really interesting. That's really cool. Neat. Um, uh, has spikes on it. Yeah. Whoa. Are we in a spot where we could maybe sample that? Maybe. Okay. <laughs> yeah, that definitely looks like a rosella. Like this I don't know. It's like Actually, not quite as hairy as. Yeah. But yeah, yeah, maybe that it's one's the beginning. Yeah. Full wide. Uh, Some rosella are more sorry. hairy, but that one looks kind of convincing and in between. Yeah. 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 All right. It's cool. You zoom in on the Adelaide. I would just say, call it rosella for now. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Potential. We were, and the one that we were looking at was Roselide acanthascus, but we're not quite sure. So. Oh, oh what? A lot of stuff on this ridge. Yeah. Now. So now we're in the productive part. tight spot. Yeah. It's all right then. It's how it goes. It's like <laughs> as soon as it's like, oh, there's so much stuff. Oh, impossible. we can't sample, sample it. Sample. <laughs> so much stuff because it's so precarious. Yeah, but these still cam oh, shots. Nice. I mean, they're blurry, but like you oh, can cool. see the, yeah, yeah. just the extent of that um, yeah. Chrysogorgid. Nah, I can't get in there safely. Okay. Okay. Well, uh, we imaged it, so that's good. Mm -hmm. uh, but yeah, let's let's do if there if it's possible to get close-ish to the wall, uh, even if if you put the oh the Niskins on yeah side. if you put the Niskins yeah. on that side I don't know yeah. yeah what uh however close you can get the Niskins to this would be great. Yeah, there's also that sea, that big sea whip mm -hmm. we didn't quite get to yet. And just kind of in amongst there. Yep. Yeah. yeah. Maybe it looks like a paramarisid here. I don't know. Uh, I don't know. That looks though. pretty dead stocky 
spread that branching. So for Loopy, this is going to be a Niskin sample near the steep wall with m mostly around Pleurogorgia militaris. Oh, that works excellent. Great job. Um, or, yeah, fairly high density of Pleurogorgia militaris uh, and also some Chrysogorgia geniculata. And uh, unstocked Good shot. coral, yep. and uh, and primnoid, a few primnoid fans. Can you oh. see if it's bamboo or not? <laughs> it looks bamboo-y, It's Kinda. scraggly. It doesn't look primnoidy to me. Yeah. I think oh. unbranching bamboo maybe. Looks like there's something. Is it bifurcated? Like it broke off. Oh, yeah. Okay. Maybe it is branching and it broke. The yellow branch up top, though, that looks not, uh, yeah, looks dead to me. Eh, something on I the I think that's end, just fouling. Yeah. Mm. Has he taken a sample yet or no? No. Okay, just asking. No, but feel free to write out the description. Because with these, we want kind of as much detail as possible about the density and mm -hmm. diversity of organisms in front of us. Any, any Niskin? Uh, yep, start from one end, one or six, whatever. Six. So can you tell us what the process is of taking an eDNA sample? And then sample? I would, during this, like, mm. yeah. Yeah, so basically we take the eDNA sample, we get, the, we get a bunch of water, um, and then when it comes back up, we take that, we put it in a whirl pack, and then um, that's all we do with it here. Or actually, we filter no, two liters yeah. of it through a, through a filter that will capture... Um, will capture all the, per the particulates that in the water uh, and genetic material in the water. And then that filter gets put into a preservative solution. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I You see it? Yeah. Six. Sweet. Fired. All right, fired. Into a preservative solution. And then that's what we send off is the filter folded up and preserved with all the genetic material from those two liters of water uh, mm -hmm. trapped in that filter. And then that later gets sequenced. And uh, from that, we can see what uh, we can see if it's possible, knowing what was in front of us when we took this sample, if it's possible just to take a water sample and not a whole bunch of coral and sponge samples and be able to tell what it was that was living in the area uh, based off of just whatever sloughs off of, off of their surfaces. Um, whatever genetic material they sort of release into the surrounding water through various ways, you know, waste, waste or, or just, uh, uh, yeah, sloughing is the word we always use, kind of pieces, small pieces breaking off. Um, it's difficult because, you know, when there's a current, you don't necessarily know if what you're sampling is from in front of you or from way down up current somewhere. So that's part of, part of what this study aims to clarify. Nice. And then real quick, someone corrected us saying that um, Pleurogorgia got renamed to Romulogorgia. Yes, okay, that's what I wanted yeah. to find because in one guide, I knew that it was labeled yeah. differently, and in the other guide, it was still Pleurogorgia. So okay, I'll thank you for that. Let me paste that in the chat. There you go. Thanks, person. Mm.
So here's something I always wondered. So I know sponges are like filter feeders, but how do they actually digest the food that they filter out? Do they have some sort of way to like have little stomachs inside of them or is it something completely different? They do not have stomachs, no. It's, uh, sponges they are just have a big some of the simplest yeah. organisms, simplest animals that exist. Um, I want to say that once they trap them with their flagella, there's probably some kind of, uh, let's see, let's look, extracellular ingestion that happens. Do you want to zoom on any of these? Uh, sure, yeah. If we could yeah, zoom on the, the whip, whip, that would be great. Um. Go ahead, video. Oh, Sarah. <laughs> That's huge. That's cool. Fleshy. Yeah. That? Looks like it's a, a bamboo. Yeah. Yeah. Those long, long polyps. Pinky. Mm hmm. It's like a cattail almost. <laughs> Pink cattail. Pretty. Thank you. Good enough zoom for us, I think. Um, can we could, sample? Yeah, can we sample a little bit of that? The sea see. whip or the the remote the sea the, whip. Okay. Because also, if I mean, there's Just some the of the same. Just the off the top. Uh, yeah. God, it's gonna be difficult. Okay, <laughs> then that's fine. <laughs> no problem. Just just throwing it out there. I'm tempted to try, but it's okay. Well, if ever there's I don't know. a. I think we can get it. Okay. Five minutes? Sure. Yeah, so corals do have stomachs. But Not it corals, sponges. They rest oh. on sponges, right? Oh, sorry. I didn't hear that properly. Sponges, yeah, sponges do not have stomachs, that's for sure. So, Lila, I would go by this date, won't I? Or what was that? I would go by this date on the computer. Uh, no. Just so it's, you over. know that it's uh, half past midnight UTC, mm -hmm. and our day is currently 28th, and it's ahead of us, so it's the 29th. So yeah, I will go by 29th. It's the 29th. Okay. I'll, yeah. Yeah, so sponges have certain, they have special cells that digest food. So um, the cells, those trap, the collar cells trap the food. Mm -hmm. And then I was just trying to look up, because I, you know, when I learned about this in invert, it's like, well, then, then and then you're like, that's it. And then the, yeah. the collar cells trap the food. But yep. looking at it more, <laughs> uh, they actually in, can ingest really small particles through mm -hmm. phagocytosis. So the the, there are cells that can then engulf those particles and intracellularly ingest them. But yeah, no, no digestive system. Tracks. Really, all that they have anatomically, sponges, is uh, a hole or holes where they filter water in and then into sort of chambers. And those chambers are lined with choanocytes or collar cells, mm -hmm. which have flagella or little whip-like um, whip -like parts that, that will latch onto the food particles, and then I guess that's ingested via phagocytosis. Is that enough? Uh, so. Sure. Uh, that's all we got. That's all good. If that's what we can get, that's good. Um, we can put it in the porch. You can suction or it we into can slurp jar it. seven. Yeah, sure. They're if not rotating if slurp very well again today. They're clog. not? Okay, yeah. If it's an option, we can slurp, yeah. Um, all right, actually, I don't know what's safer. It's hard to get it in the slurp, isn't it? Is the slurp still in the weird spot? Yeah. Okay. Uh, well, is there anything in the front box? Nope. No. Well, it's empty. Hmm. Whatever is easiest for you. Investigate the slurp. Okay. Mm -hmm. 
Did we recover that sponge from yesterday? No, we didn't. No, unfortunately Sad not. Face. No. Sad face. No. Sad Lost to the slurp. Did it just go like right out another end or no something? Idea. Or? No, it didn't. No, we have no idea <laughs> what happened I really to it. hope we don't find it somewhere in Hercules. It, it must have fell out. Fall out the, the front, nozzle. right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Toughy. <laughs> yeah. Does it seem like the slurp is slurping oh, yeah, sectioning? Is yeah, the slurp will slurp, but the okay. tires might not rotate. I would just try and put it in seven. The angle's tough. Suction on. Yep. Suction or sorry, standby. Uh, get the camera on it. Uh, Suction jar camera. Fuck it. There oh. we go. Turn that one off. There we go. Okay, and then suction on. We got it. Yep. 100%. I don't see it trying to go in there. I don't either. No. Um, I'm not getting too far away here. So many of these Riga Trello sponges in the back, too. These are cool. Mm. They almost look like like they have this expert, naturally designed scaffolding so they can be really thin and delicate, but withstand, mm. you know, oh. decent current. Suction's on. The bubble oh. came on. There's Is it still in there? I think it either went up or... Either went it. down or went out. I don't think... I think it went out. Oh, there it, oh, is. There it is. Uh, oh. This is just... All right. That's okay. Not gonna work. Yeah. All right. Sorry. We tried. Yeah. A lot going on here at once. Yep. Yeah. It's always worth the effort. Mm-hmm. Thanks for trying. So, to go back on that question about sponge digestion, uh, someone helped us out, you know, saying that the material is, is carried up and absorbed into the coenzyme cells and then it's broken down and transported by other cells throughout the sponge. Yep. Yeah. Coenocyte, that's what I meant to say. Coenocyte, yeah, that's the, that's those the are the collar cells. collar cells. Yep. Sponges have, yeah, sponges are kind of the, like, starting point for, like, stem cells, evolutionarily. Really? Interesting. Well, they have these things called amoebocytes, in, uh, as a cell type, that can differentiate into yeah. lots of different uh, cell types from their 
which is interesting. Mm -hmm. Looks like we have an alternating branch pattern sea whip. Or no. Where's that? Oh, that's the Spidoscopelia oh. ferrae again. Oh, oh, oh. Never mind, right. So are we going back on, on our back on our old uh, old rock here. Oh yeah, I was just gonna say we were here. Oh <laughs> this looks familiar. <laughs> Man, another mushrooms. Hmm. I think I saw a few worm, worm casings oh, yeah? too. Yeah. But small tube worms. Mm-hmm. Oh, maybe a mollusk. I don't know. Mm -hmm. It would be cool to be on an expedition where we'd see hydrothermal vents. Ah, oh. well, our pilot knows all about that. <laughs> <laughs> They're Lots very cool. Those. If Lots you uh, tune in for the uh, upcoming Ocean Networks Canada expedition, I yep. expect they'll be doing work out at Endeavour, which is a well-documented hydrothermal vent field or site. Yep. Mm -hmm. I'll be sure to check that out. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's it's uh, really cool. Yeah, they are really, really cool. What is? Oh. So we don't find hydrothermal vents in this part of the ocean, but they're more around tectonically active regions, would you say? And so, yeah, they are high points of study because they release many nutrients and minerals from the deep earth into the environment, and we find many living organisms around there, and. Many engage, a lot of simpler organisms like bacteria or the tube worms engage in what's called chemosynthesis. It's like photosynthesis, but it's a different way of them to get their energy. And so it's because of this that we suspect that you want to zoom one of in the... Here? Uh, I, th I think we're okay. I think it's the same sponge as before, yeah. Okay. But if ever you see one, you're like, I think I could sample that. You uh, you let us know. I don't know if I can get much on the wall here. Yeah, can't that's get fine. The, there's nowhere to sit. Earlier there were overhangs. And, and we'll just take take, take good images of the different things we see. Yep. Yep. Always looking, always observing. But yeah, so hydrothermal vents uh, are suspected to have uh, be a candidate for one of the origins of life on Earth and could be a way for us to investigate life on other worlds, like uh, ocean worlds, like Europa and Enceladus, out in the solar system. They have oceans underneath their icy crust. Mm -hmm. In fact, we do have an instrument of um, that we use occasionally on Hercules on this expedition that is being tested to potentially be used in icy ocean worlds. It's called the laser dive bot. Give it a, yes. like, a, maybe down to a 15 meter delta, see how you get further 15. away. Okay. It's, uh, I don't want to move the ship in yet. So that looks, does that look like a broken pillow there? That's like... Open, open it does, yeah. There. Looking yeah, at the this. fracture pattern, it yeah, does look broken. Yeah, I can see the fractures along the outside kind of radi radiating. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so our laser dive bot is developed by SETI Institute and Impossible Sensing. And this contains a new instrument called the a we, uh, spectrometer. Like, look over over there a little. Over there. See what's over there. Over there. Ooh, lots, of lots over there. Wow, those are some nice big sponges. A lot of these whips. 
bamboo whips. Want to zoom on anything? In yeah, particular? maybe if we could zoom on this sponge there. Okay. Oh, and actually the one lower down too after. Yeah. What's going on down there? Is that a sponge and a coral? Or? Which one? one oh, it looks like right. the, the coral is just behind that sponge, yeah. Okay, zoom in. Pretty. Bring the ship in five meters. Yeah. Looks like Rigadrilla. Toward the, toward the cliff. That's very pretty. They are pretty. I just love the wow. shapes in their sides. That's good there. And then there was Whoa. one to the to the lower edge of what we were looking at earlier that was interesting. Um, it's out of frame right now. Well, there's a snake star hanging out there, waving around. What was the name of that sponge? Where was Re it? Regadrilla. Uh, it was a little lower down there somewhere. Uh, there, that. Right sponge? there. Yeah. That sponge, yeah. gentle slow motion fall it's like all they can do is just oh. float by <laughs> okay you can make it buddy full wide or uh zoom, sorry <laughs> it's almost like it's, it's dancing an another one of those rigadrilla of some kind uh, actually not rigadrilla sorry i meant roselle it but it actually is really strange because it has that the opening is kind of covered in that thin uh mesh like like the Rigadrella have. That's a really interesting sponge and I really wish we could take a piece of it. But I know we can't. So we will take good pictures. Come down a little on Atalanta. I'm gonna try and get a still cam pick. Down, down, down. <laughs> um, hold on, I'm trying to get us. Speeding up. Oh, that's up. What? Oh. Yeah. Well, that makes sense. All right, do you want to try and get that one again? Or uh, yeah, there? if we could try and get that yeah. one again real so quick, that would be great. Down a bit. Well, you did just show us the top of the, <laughs> how the cliff goes. You're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> Always one step ahead of us. Right. We're almost there. Okay, maybe another few meters, couple. Keep coming. I know how to do it. Watch. Where? Yeah, that's okay. All right, zoom in. Yeah, this one though, see how it has the mesh on top like the Rigadrilla have, but then it also has the spikes coming out the side. So it probably is actually a Euplectelid, but it, it I haven't seen a lot of these Euplectelids that have um, like all the, the no, the Euplectelids have the webbing, they just don't have, and they do sometimes have the long protrusions, like mm -hmm. Walteria, but not the, like, dirty, fuzzy texture, you know? That's yeah. more classic of Rosellids. Oh. Um, so, yeah, that's interesting. That interesting really sponge. Cool. Kind of like a hybrid, almost, but not really. 
That's great, thank you. Okay. Talking about rocks. Rock talk. Adam wants rock, but I think obviously this area is not quite. <laughs> All right, we had a very eager geologist come up and uh, <laughs> and so we commented on the fact that it looked like there was a broken pillow and he uh, agrees this is, was coming up to say this is unequivocally volcanic pillow and so if, if there about, is a place that a rock could be sampled yeah, to, he would love a ones? rock. Conveniently right in front of us. That would be great. Let's see, it looks like a reasonable location. Mm. Yeah, does it? Wow, yeah. lucky him. Wow. Of course the rocks are in a reasonable location. <laughs> <laughs> well, but it kind of makes sense, because the, if it was that that's what's more steep, them. they would just yeah. fall off. Right? Yeah. yeah. All your fancy oh, animals a coral are too. <laughs> things to hold on. Um, okay, so maybe Oh, and then maybe there's a coral. big, or the thing last. next to it. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah, they Definitely all a coral there, but kind of looks broken. Kind of looks like it. It's yeah, like it kind of looks dead, dead. Dead branch. Well, there's one that's just out of frame in the bottom. Oh, uh, I see, I see. Maybe Metallogorgia. What? Wait, no. Oh, well, that big one wants yeah. to come up. It's yeah, it's just just out of frame on the, the bottom it. left. We'll take a look after. Oh, that's a rock. <laughs> but okay, yeah. I think Amber was looking at something. Yeah, on yeah, the other that. Side. that. Or the I was coral. pointing to a rock. Yeah. <laughs> and then. Up in the upper wow, I wonder right, if I can stay there's there some like pieces this. that might be the type that you're looking at. Gold stars, Sarah. Right. Well, I, <laughs> uh, I don't know if we're going to stay there. Let's see. Adam, are you in the lounge? Does this mm -hmm. make you happy? He's, nope, that's Daniel. His buttons are a little bit worn out. Yeah, it's the buttons. <laughs> there we go. Oh. Ooh. Ooh. Okay. I'm gonna, let's see if Adam's in the lounge looking at this. He was just on the headset. Uh, he was? Yeah, did, he, did he say gold star? I want to know if he, he thinks this... Is this rock a gold star? Yeah, if that rock's a yeah. gold star. Yeah, looks yeah. good. He said it looks good. Yeah. Right. Yeah. It's a winner. She's the keeper. <laughs> cool, we'll just add it to our collection of rocks and nothing else but rocks. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> sample tray out. Uh, yep, sample salvo. Where's that? Right. But Leela, the coral that you were looking at earlier, uh -huh. there's a small piece within reach, it looks like, in the top right. Oh, the plur the Ramelagorgia? It's the kind of pale one. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, is this looking like a C? Oh, wait, are you referring to like right here? What do you think? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, looks like well, a just below it, uh, in the shadowy nice. part. Okay, mm -hmm. it's a C. Um, you're all up the are you, iris. Are you talking about right here, Amber? Yes. Oh. You think you could grab that, Hannaford, or slurp it up? Sorry, what are you after? Here, no, probably not. Again. The slurp would have to be already out, huh? Uh, oh. 
we're looking at like these the branches that are hanging down over here like of those coral that were cool that general area wait what is this one oh that's <laughs> there's also this one this is a it's gonna get annoying for the pilots yeah, but yeah, there's yeah, the yeah. point and zoom yeah If you drag it away, it shows where. Um, what are you right. after here? Well. <laughs> here, do you want me to zoom in a little uh, bit? Yes, I thought we were on this still. There we go. Yeah. No. Yep. No, up, up, up to the right. Up and to the right. Yep. Yeah, like yep. these these branches that are over there, if those are slurpable, I don't know if or you'd have to readjust. Say even the one that was more to the right, more kind of off. Kind of All of that's fine. Yeah, More importantly, okay. is there a way to collect any of it? Yes. Full wide? Like anything, anything here. Yeah, all those big ones over there are great too. I just check the reach. Yep. I can't really get in much further. There's uh, the, the bumper bear is going to be into the. Ooh. Oh. Oh uh. yeah. Well, why wouldn't that work? Okay. Excellent. I'll tell you why. Because the porch is not out. <laughs> Thanks, Amber, for thinking about us. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, do we think this is going to get caught in the weird screw situation again? Is a grab our best bet, or do you have any faith in the slurpability of this? I have faith. Okay. <laughs> All right. We can also, like, if I, I don't know if we'll get the snip, because you yeah. have to have the arm sideways yeah. and you lose the reach. Right. Well, then we'll just try. It is the buttons. I'm serious. I just five times just to get it to go. <laughs> we believe you. This looks hard it's to get that slurp out. Yeah. yeah. You gotta like pull towards the towards the ROV. Yeah. Never gonna get that back in that way. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> fly away to do that. Okay, can we get the slurp bucket up? Now, I highly recommend you just go, we can flush now and just put it in JR7. Yeah, sure, okay. flush and then it can go in seven. That's and then we can fine. struggle to rotate it later. Okay. <laughs> Are these gonna slurp if they're attached? Yeah, you just kind of like scrape, scrape them it. along the bottom then, a little bit. And yeah, then you then scrape it and then you turn on so the suction. So can you uh, run the pump, please, Sarah? Pump's coming up. And, and zoom in, please, video. A little movement in there. Yep, so that. Let's see. And then you kind of just like break it yep, up. Yep, you just go whoop. Right. Yeah. There oh. you go. Okay, but no, no cheering yet, friends. Oh. Yeah, you're right. Yeah. Uh, come on. Wait for it to go in. And there. if that worked, I would love another piece. <laughs> Did you see? No. Okay. I don't see anything don't going see up it the hose. Yeah, but I also out, don't maybe? see it going out. It. You're trying because to look I'm if it's caught. You, right. Like, yeah, it's, it's right good, that here. screw. No, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Here, point it. Let's look down, down the barrel. <laughs> <laughs> well, no. we could maybe use that to place it into the bio box. Yeah, let's try that. Man. Okay, f is that full wide? Um, and then 
Okay, put the pump on like 50%. Fifty. And toolbox out. No. And what do you call it again? Come Where's back out. <laughs> huh. Pump off. All right. Pumps off. Man, dang it. Slurp is really just not liking us. Underperforming slurp. <laughs> <laughs> Underperforming slurp. Um, would it be possible? Oh, oh I, I see it. it. I yeah. see it sticking out. <laughs> Get out of there. Where is it? So you can slurp. just see it sticking out the bottom oh, there. Oh, man. Yeah. Shoot. Would slurping more Yeah, be try and slurp again, yeah. maybe. It'll yeah. echo through. Wait, hold on. Now it looks like oh. it's coming out. Uh, oh, it's it's caught. Uh, I think it's the branch yeah. is stuck somewhere. Yeah. It's kind of like a bar, but I feel like it won't go up or down at this point. Yeah. I don't know. I guess best option is to try up one more time. Yeah, okay. All right, slurp. Slurp up. Maybe we'll keep an eye on the hose. 100%. No. Uh, that wasn't... Okay. Oh, no. Oh. Yeah, it's never going to go okay. either way, no. is it? No, it's just is stuck. It, oh, it's right against that it's bolt. Right. Yeah. It's no. the silly bolt, yeah. It's wrapped. Yep. You might actually get that one because it won't come out. Right. Okay, <laughs> well, we'll call that for now. You don't okay. think with the reach that you could grab any of it, right? Uh, I'll try. Okay, I'll, I'll let's try back. that real quick, and then yeah. that'll be our last attempt. And maybe that one will be stuck in the slurp, but... Fool me once, shame on you. I, g I feel like until we get that bolt out, the slurp is kind of like know, decommissioned. So, Loopy, if you could put that in the engineering notes, maybe. I don't know if... I don't know who looks at those, but other, uh, I guess, vehicle, yeah. Mm -hmm. Just that the bolt running through the, the bolt attaching the handle to the slurp pretty, really prevents anything from going up it. <laughs> I really does, need that porch out. Does the bolt run, run through it completely? Like it does. Oh, wow. Yeah, this is a new... Uh, Edition. handle holster system. Got it. And uh, yeah, doesn't seem to be doing too hot. Oh, we're moving. Like one of those bigger branches up there. Yeah, I don't know how, how close your shoulder is. This or might your work. Did you want this to be the same? Like yeah, these would all be one sample. Okay. Um, so if we get this one, there, video, we'll log please. it as a grab and say there might be some in the slurp uh, nozzle too. Okay. None of the bigger chunks to the upper right would be possible, right, Mike? That's too, I don't the think elbow so. is too, okay, yeah. Okay, we try for these. You want me to just turn the slurp suction off now? Yes, yeah, okay. thank you. Yep. We can take the whole, whole as much of that as yeah, is possible. Yeah, it's a small one. And we've got plenty of it around, so. Yep. I don't feel like I'm gonna hurt the population. No, they're doing really well. Okay. Right. Where can we put it? Forward. Tool tray. Okay, full wide. And what is this again that we're going to say? This is a 
Ramlagorgia militaris. Got it, got it, got it. It's uh, written in the yeah, chat. I see. Okay, yep. cool. It's a Just big word. Sure. Why was the name changed on that? Um, not sure, actually. Let's see. Usually they just do some sort of genetic analysis and they're like, actually, no. Um, I'm not sure though. It seems like it was a little smaller than 10 centimeters and you're like a six, seven centimeter chunk branch. Oh, lethal branch. Gently, JV. gently go in. Oh yeah, get in there. Okay, close. And then I would put in the notes, Loopy, that there might be some in the nozzle of the slurp, too. Closing it up. And then in the Herc diagram, maybe mention the floatiness. Awesome. Thank you. Got it. For all the efforts. Is that so the coral you were looking at down here? Is that what were you pointing out earlier, Amber? No, that that was the, the area. Ones that, the oh. ones that we saw. Oh, those. Okay, got it. Got yeah, it. just because we were within reach. Yeah, yeah. All right. Yeah. Back so to survey. I mean, the paper is not. <laughs> I can't. It's not open access, so I can't read more into it. But just some phylogenetics and people changed the um, genus classification, which happens often with yep. the deep sea. Heteropolypus used to be anthemastis. Yeah. So those mushroom coral we were seeing. And they can happen like really fast too. Yeah. Super common. Happens with things people are really used to too, like Zoxanthellae in shallow water coral. Lophelia. No longer zoxanthellae. Lophelia is now Desmophyllum, which is still yeah. highly contested. Oh, that's hard. <laughs> Very highly contested, but um, dang it. Things are changing all the time. Things are changing all the time. But, yeah. There. Yep. Is this, are we back to where we started? No, no, we're on a different area of the wall. Okay. But I was about to say, a spoon looks oddly familiar. Why does that keep happening? It does look like the same I feel like, spot. I feel like I never know where we are ever, so. <laughs> That's so kind of in general. Yeah, we're like, there's a valley, like, like that. that sandy area that we were in, surrounded by a wall, and we started at one end, went up yeah. the wall, and then went, went across the valley, and then we're going up another, the other yeah. end. Can you oh, get the fish. sonar back on that one, though? <laughs> <laughs> or else we'll have to reset it and undo your hard work. Man, I really that. cannot take good pictures. These And... Why? So even before this part of the ocean, yeah, we still so find quite a lot moving. of fish. Yeah. Uh, up a little on Atalanta. Yep. Okay, Shall I'm just going to do it. Not I even sure how no, it's struggling. Hit that one there. I can't wait to get in that bottle. It just won't let me change the gauge. The gauge can stay there, oh, and Violet can go there, or vice okay. versa. It doesn't what was really that? Matter. Well, one that's the one that's sponges. not letting me change. What are they? Just that one oh. that's letting me change. their name? <laughs> the, oh, the Rigadrellas? So oh, no, that. yeah, the sponge. The Rigadrella? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Zoom on the Pretty. sponge? No, I think no, 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 we've, we're good. Looked at, Sorry. we've looked at them plenty. So Just much. Continue to pan around. So much of that one coral, though. Yeah, Which one? right. Everywhere. On every dive, we've been seeing, ooh, this is a, looks like a stock tylenema back there. Can we look at that? Okay. <laughs> um... We've been seeing that, like a dominant, yeah, or a few dominant, which coral. is really cool. Oh, I will go like this. Couple cool sponges right here. 
we're just going to do that. And there then I'm go. going to ask if I can get the gauge in the corner because <laughs> it won't let me change it. <laughs> Thank you. Ooh. So here's a question for for y'all. What's your favorite kind of sponge? Zoom in, please. <laughs> um, I don't think I have one yet. These honestly, really big moon-looking. Uh, Balisoma. Oh yeah, Balasoma. This Stockholm. is hard to tell from Actually, this angle again. Can we take lots of good pictures of this, please, Loopy? As whenever it stabilizes. Usually, the with the stock hyalinema, that's not as big of as an of an opening, I'm but down it kind of has. meters on oh, Atlanta. It does have the right shape. No. Sorry, hold on. I'll get that better for you. Very good. Uh. Could also be though Amphitocella. So tough. Trying to oh, look down. more into. Oh my gosh, what is happening here? <coughs> There's it? stalks as it. well. Oh yeah, panning that panning around is helpful. I don't see. It, it looks kind of more like Amphitocella. Yeah, I'm not. Maybe. Maybe it's because this isn't a complete guide, but the stalks look vastly different for hyalinema. Um. All right, how's that? Uh, nice. Oh, that's that's good. Bless you. Okay. Yeah, let's call this Bless maybe you. Amphidicilla. Think, are we good? Yeah, we're yeah. good, thanks. Okay, one. Um, then another Chrysogorgia. I don't know what type. Whoa. <laughs> Hello. Oh my gosh. Big Riga wow. What a beauty. Look at that. Wanna zoom? Uh, sure, real quick. It's pretty. It's pretty. We're staring right down. Yeah. <laughs> Go ahead. Ready? Okay. Had a good angle. I think we saw a dead one of these earlier. Yes. Yeah, this is beautiful. I've seen a lot of living ones too, but this is a really fun angle. Can we turn off the uh, lasers for a sec? Always. I know. Thank you. No, I don't want them on ever. <laughs> wow. So pretty. What did we think this is again? Rigadrella. Hmm. Is there so pretty critter? Is there a critter inside? Yeah, there oh, are yeah. usually critters associates. in there. What kind hey, of associates do we find in these types of sponges? That's a shrimp. <laughs> I yeah. see its two little beady eyes. I think there are usually shrimp. I don't know if maybe sometimes ophiroids too. I don't remember what we've usually seen in these. That's well, great. Thank you. I wonder how it got in there. Um, grew in there for a long time, probably. Yeah, I was going to say, it probably yeah. grew. <laughs> <laughs> it's probably been a resident for a while. lots of glass sponges yeah this is a fun wall y'all i'm i'm happy <laughs> taking our time here mm, i think it looks like this actually yeah the dictyolus and the rigadrella are hard to tell really apart but the the i think it had more of difference. like the lobate e mm. here uh let's go back to Like you see oh, how see. it has like these little fingery things coming off. The Rigadrella yeah, has more yeah, outside yeah, texture yeah. than mm -hmm. the Dictyolus. Yep. I think is what led me towards that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I see that. 
Yeah, there you can see the little. Yep. Um, if we could look at that bamboo that was on the right, I think it was a bamboo, a big, yeah. big branching. I think another stalked something. These, yeah, we haven't seen Ooh. many un many branched bamboo yet. Sorry, I don't know why I'm circling it as if I need to point out where the big <laughs> branched bamboo Where the big coral you guys is. You and a big screen in front of you. <laughs> oh, wow. Go ahead and zoom. And is that snake star wrapped around? Kind of looks like I can't see it, but a, another coral above it that looks different. Yes, yeah, some different Chrysogorge over here too. If we could zoom just a wee bit more, whenever you're ready. Yeah, bamboo, mm -hmm. but I can't see if it's nodal or internodal branching quite. Yeah, but too. It's hard to see. Too I think it's out. internodal. I, I don't see black lines by all the branches, so I'm going to call that an internodal branching bamboo. That's cool. great. Thank you. Okay. Okay. Oh, wow. Oh, that's nope. Still just looking at rocks and thinking they're dense corals. <laughs> <laughs> Whenever we see cool stuff, it's always funny to look at our our uh, vehicle track on high pack and be like, oh, yep, we just uh, squiggle around and <laughs> this one's on for a long time. Oopsie. Um, okay. Suppose we can continue to move up a bit on, on this wall. Oh, there's another sponge that looks cool. This is a new sponge. Sorry, we haven't seen this one yet. I can look that. Oh, that one's and, a hexagon. fractured pillow. I'm going to admire that there for, for us to appreciate the <laughs> geo. <laughs> And another stocked sponge that looks, again, a little different. Man, all the sponges today. Yeah, good sponge to rain. Want to zoom on the sponges? Mm -hmm. Yes, please. Two in one deal. OK, go ahead. Oh, yeah, wow. can't tell quite how stocky this is if it's like one of the corbatellid sponges. It's mm. something euplectellid, I'm pretty sure. Do you want to focus on one then the other? Uh, yeah, let's do let's do the left first. Okay. Hmm. So how would you describe this? Would you say it looks kind of lobed or lumpy or mm. something of the sort? Um, uh, yeah, fingery projections. Almost reminds me of, um, I don't know what That's they're good. called. That's good, thank you. But it's not the real loofah, but it's like the fake the ones that you use in a shower. It kind of is what it looks like to me. Oh, I know what you mean. Oh, mm -hmm. that's pretty. I feel like that's... It's so hard to tell. <laughs> yeah. Okay, that's good, thank you. Like, the thing is for me is that the stock balasomas... Oh wait, never mind. It's, it's not a balasoma. Yeah, 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 no, it's not. It looks again mm -hmm. maybe like the the amphidicella. Yep. Yeah, because the other ones the other one is doesn't have quite the same stock.